everybody, Advance N64 here. Welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, uh, Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. In this episode, I decided to try something different. Uh, now see, I did not have a lot of cards to work with, and I didn't really like the cards that were currently in my deck. However, if you have this problem too, you could also fix it by using a simple little method of <laughs> cheating! Um, all you gotta do is just, uh, if you have a certain uh, friendly code uh, on your uh, Game Boy Advance, and definitely not a ROM, but of course it could use work on a ROM as well. But, um, just if you are on this menu right here, make sure you are holding select, and then R, uh, make sure you're not letting go of select. And then, while still holding select, press A on track, uh, deck and trunk. And what should pop up is something similar to this. I did not do that right there because I've already done it in the past. However, if you did do this, uh, so notice how on, on the bottom right corner, there's a thing that says statement. It would, it would just originally say all cards. There'd be no number there, but it, and it, there wouldn't be anything in, uh, I believe in the trunk, it's a little weird. I don't know if it says a number off the bat or not. Uh, but the main thing is that it won't, you won't have anything in your deck. You do always have to start off with a deck in, in order to play this game. But it will unequip the, whatever deck you are currently using in order to get all those cards. Alright, but I did uh, end up making a deck uh, over here. Which I will be showing off uh, more in the, end, uh, end of the video. Just showing off and down like this. But, uh, I want to... Uh, I want to move on from that, uh, uh, we'll show off this deck in action. We got actually a guy right here that we can fight that we have no idea who it is. So let's go ahead and, uh, figure out who that is. Let's go up and fight him. And, it's a Shizu Ishtar. My family has sworn to protect the Millennium Items. I must not lose if I have to change our 3,000 year destiny. And, alright, I'm gonna use uh, scissors, and of course, the Prophet, uh, saw what was coming through Rock, Paper, Scissors. Now, that's cheating. If you can see the future, and then you can beat me in Rock, Paper, Scissors, you know, something's up. And, I think Shizu's actually got, like, special music. I don't know if they all got special music for themselves, but that's pretty cool. Um. Okay, so I can activate Palmerization right now, but I'm a little worried about it. Uh, um, I'm gonna set down this uh, Space Typhoon. Um, just so- I'm gonna wait a turn, uh, before I end up doing this. I know we're probably gonna take um, a lot of damage just straight up off the bat for that. But, I mean, that's not so bad. 180, I'll take that. Uh, we're gonna be at 6,200, so not, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and wait and draw here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... We got two blue eyes white dragons. But we'll go ahead and use the pulverization now. And let's go for a... Uh, oh. oh, I accidentally did uh, the chain part. Um, yeah, so, uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, Twin and Thunder Dragon here, and bring out, yes! So this monster is really cool, I've, re I've noticed with this deck. Um, I wanted to run, uh, something, uh, like a dragon deck, and this is what I ended up coming out with. Uh, these Thunder Dragons I found out, uh, that you can get onto your, d uh, deck. They're all five, uh, five star, uh, monsters, but their whole thing is that as long as you have one in your deck, eh, you can, uh, discard it and, act and put two in your deck. And see, that's why I didn't immediately put it out, because I knew there was going to be a Wurgeke. And out comes another fairy. Uh, I, I want I wish one of these back here were a trap card, but of course they're just mystical space type foods. Oof, you're getting hurt quite badly. I would like a trap card or something. And alright, uh, let's appreciate that. Uh, we'll put that down. Though I could, I uh, would also like a monster. Um, though I guess I'm asking for a lot right here. Let's go ahead and uh, activate. Oh, nope, I guess it has to wait until it's attacking. Alright. Please work. Yes. Widespread Druid. And I believe that gets rid of everybody on the uh, field. Nope, it just gets rid of this highest attacking monster. Alright, that's okay. Um. I'm not too used to that, but I've used it before. I just forgot the effect itself. 
luckily, Gear 3D Iron Knight here is a uh, uh, good monster. If we weren't getting any good monsters uh, anytime soon, this ba uh, battle would not have looked up for us. There we go. And, alright, we're doing okay, and I can't do anything with that. Forgetful, uh, the forgiving mate. Wrap us in for the forgetful mate. And let's go ahead and complete our third here. Um, uh, what's the shoes we got? Uh, I'm surprised there's been no trap. Okay, there we go. Now there's something here. Um, I mean, I got a quick play spell, so I don't really want it up, so how about we go ahead and break it? Uh, um,. I believe it's a field card, but I don't know what it does. Luminous Spark, I wouldn't be surprised if it was something with light monsters. It's definitely a cheesy soul thing. And a uh, sword revealing light? Yeah, how about Mystical Space Typhoon? And let's get rid of Mystical Space Typhoon so we don't have to worry about not attacking. And boom, perfect. Uh, and just a monster in defense position. Of course, we can't get rid of one of them at the very least. And, oh, Magic Cylinder, okay. Um, of course I said that before. But I did add Jinzo then. And now let's go ahead and put Jinzo out. Uh, and. Alright, now. Alright. I don't normally do this, but I want to see it. Cart. Uh. As guard is face up, offer it as a tribute to return. Oh, one of your monsters destroyed a battle to do this hand to your Yeah, I'm gonna go destroy this card. I don't. Yeah, uh, I think it was something about if I destroyed one of the other cards, so... Alright, uh, I'm always confused because there's a lot of uh, weird monster cards that have like weird effects for when you uh, when they go to the gra uh, graveyard, so I don't want anything bad to come from that. Um, let's activate Graceful Charity here, and Pulverization. And we're actually really, really close to getting a uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon right here. Um, I kind of want to go for that, honestly, but, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I can bring back the, from the dead, so it's not a problem at all, because they have, like, called the haunted and monster reborn, um, let's get rid of this guy, do I love the dark witch? Yes, uh, but we got that out of the way, moving on, uh, just, I wish I, I could have put down that battle ox, but wait a second, I think I kept that battle ox. I could have totally put down that battle ox. And then to taunt me, it puts down a better battle ox. God, I am playing a little dumb. Um, let's go into battle phase here. And, alright, battle ox can attack this guy. And we'll see what that is. Magician of Faith. Alright, I believe, I know that has affected. Oh! Wait, what? I thought you had Brigette or... Oh, I think you can get a magic card from your graveyard is the thing. Dang, that stinks. Uh, that means we're gonna lose our uh, monsters next turn. Jinza can block traps, but he can't block magic. Ah, uh, jeez. Yep, that's totally gonna activate right here. And Dark Hole. Okay, that wasn't even the card. Uh, but, alright, moving on then. Uh, Trap Hole and Battle Ops. And we'll attack directly for 1,700. And, alright, I can't really tell where the spike's going exactly. I wish I had something like Call of the Haunted right now, because I could have easily just bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon. But, oh, we'll have to just keep going on like this. And for Uh, there goes my Battle Ox. And, I don't think she's got any monsters, but we got another trap, so we'll put that down. Um, don't, I don't think I should put all my eggs in one basket, and she ends up having like something like Heavy Storm in the end. Oh, of uh, purity and light. I don't know what that is. Uh, magic cylinder. Um, but I don't want to get hit by it. Uh, so, all right. Uh, it has two thousand attack points, and I'm really regretting not having something here. That would be like I don't know. Um, what should we call it? Uh, call of the haunt. I did not want to go to battle phase. Let's go end to my turn. Um. Poor Legend uh, is actually getting debuffed by this guy. This is a really weird card right here. Um, but I do have Mirror Force, and it, um, that last turn showed that it's not immune to trap effects. So, boom. Let's go ahead and draw. We are doing somewhat well against this user now. And we got a Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, probably my weakest card in my deck. Uh, but 
Let's go ahead and attack with these guys. We'll attack up front here, and I believe that's it. Uh, yep, uh, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Boom, we beat a Shizu, and that was looking really bad at first. But luckily, we beat that just fine. And, alright, Shizu, you saw, uh, you can see the future. Did you see that I was gonna beat you there? Your power is good. You may be, uh, if I'm one of many that grant my wish. Oh, well, I don't, I'm not here to grant your wishes, Shizu. I'm here to beat you at a card game, and we got another Blue Eyes White Dragon. Alright, cool. Uh, very nice. Okay, we got another fight over here. This one's kind of off in the corner a little bit, but we all know who this is. Let's go check out who that would be. It's Estoroba. I feel it. Uh, there is a disturbance of space that forms an image of the future. An image that shows your defeat in the hands of Estor Estoroba. Esperoba was one of those guys in the show that ended up like being able to see other people's cards because uh, he was cheating and having someone else show, uh, tell them what was in their hand and everything. Like three other people could do that, but it ended up, Esperoba was like another one. And the main reason that he was like okay because because that uh, he ends up, uh, ends up being the guy that originally had the card Jinzo, which is that really cool card to get rid of all traps like that uh, that did right there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna bring out Battle Ox right here, and I'll put down a Mirror Force just in case anything bad happens. I could activate Dra uh, Butter Dragon's effect right now, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Uh, Alright, let's attack it. And we got a Guardian of the Labyrinth, but luckily that wasn't a trap card in the back, and we can destroy that monster easily. And, well, it could still be a trap card, but just not one to... Fully activate when I summon a monster or attack a monster, so that's good. Uh, we got a rack with red eyes uh, and a blue eyes, but really we can only summon this guy right here. So, attack. Um, yeah, I don't want to gamble just in case if it has high defense. And Penguin Soldier. Yes. Um, oh wow. Penguin Soldier got rid of both of those monsters right there. Just put it back in my hand. Well, that stinks, but that's okay. Does leave me a little defenseless though, because I did already summon a monster this turn, so I can't summon a monster again. Alright, and ooh, we got a polymerization. In that case, I'm gonna actually activate Thunder Dragon's effect. And I'm gonna add Thunder Dragon to my hand, and use polymerization here. And I believe this has actually just counts as a special summon, so I can actually summon another monster. But let's get rid of uh, two Thunder Dragons here summon Twin-Headed Butter Dragon. And, alright, I'll also summon Battle Ox here too. And, alright, I'll have Battle Ox attack the Space Down Monster. Uh, to get rid of this dude here. He's got a big eye. He's a big monster, but what's he do? What was that? I don't know what that did. But okay. Um, well, we we hit that guy directly for 208,000 life points, 2,800 life points, so that's a lot. Um, I have no clue what that did at all, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and activate Grace Maturity here. Let's see what free, the next three cards we get is. Um, we already just had a polymerization, so we don't really need that, but, um... We don't need Black Lamp Fire Dragon either. Um, wait, I didn't summon yet. Let's go ahead and put down your 3D Iron Knight. And let's go into Battle Phase. Put battle Ox attack the face down. And we've got a Monster Turtle. Uh, that's pretty great, a Monster Turtle. Alright, I'm gonna attack with your 3D Iron Knight. Alright, uh. If I monster was a, had a little bit more attack points, this would already be over, but that's okay. Um, oop, just went to main phase 2 instead of wanting to finish my turn, but there we go. We already uh, we're doing really good. Um, monster reborn. Oh, he took my meteor dragon. Okay. Um, I don't know why he did that, but I can just do change of heart and get that dude back. Yeah, we'll do that, actually. Let's see if we can we change of heart. Yes, we can put him into attack position. Monster battle phase. And thank you for putting out my monster to attack you right there. Alright, yeah! We need to see Esteroba by uh, having him bring back our own monster for us. Thank you, Esteroba. 
Alright, uh, uh, no, my psychic powers, they failed me. What's the matter? Do you find fight a feat doesn't be a source of amusement? And I do. Uh, just, I don't care for you at all, Esperova. Wow, a Regeke, that's nice. Um, alright, uh, not that I already didn't have all the cards already. But, alright, let's see if we can get another fight. Uh, and we do have another one right over here. How about we do this one? Let's see what we got. Uh, going into another. And Joey Wheeler again. This is the rematch of the decade. Uh, I did have to make a new game um, a little bit earlier. That's why this guy was already blacked out for me. Uh, but uh, um, the re main reason I did that was because I was testing out the outer decks. And I never really got to see Joey again. But alright, I'm first to go against Joey. We did lose the uh, rock, paper, scissors. And alright, we got... You're for the Iron Knight. I was worried we did not have a monster at all to use. But let's go ahead and summon that guy in attack position here. Funny enough, because this is actually the guy that uh, Joey runs in his deck. Um, let's uh, wait right here. Um, there is one thing that's really annoying, and that's um, see this little text message that keeps popping up. Um, actually, the, I think that was because I had trap hole. Um, that might that might have been my bad. Um, it, it's just that. Um, Mystical Space Typhoon is a quick flame, uh, spell, and I did not trap hole there, I was just dumb. Um, so every turn that you, like, do a small little thing, it's gonna be like, Oh, you want to do this, right? And it's gonna be like, No, I don't want to do that. And, okay. Now, Zombra to Dark, uh, fortunately is just slightly higher than La Jin right now. But, I don't want to get rid of the Brinkette game yet. I should have just used Trap Hole uh, when I had the chance there. My bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end my turn right here, because I want to see... A uh, uh, little light points right now ain't gonna hurt too bad, but I am... Yeah, I'll use the Trap Hole right here. Alright. Let's draw. He didn't attack. Okay. Um, a little strange, but... Is it that he can only attack wait, uh, monsters? This card cannot attack the player directly each time it destroys a monster in battle. This card's attack has increased by 200 points. Okay. That's pretty neat. Uh, so I am actually safe right now. Um, but um, this guy is still stronger than all my other monsters. So I'm gonna actually wait one more turn. See if we can... Yes, an alligator sword. That's not gonna hurt us too much. Alright, let's get rid of that. Uh, and. Alright, let's draw. We got a magic cylinder. I'm gonna set that, and I'm gonna actually activate the Rekeke now. Just gonna be the two monsters out of the way. And I'll go ahead and activate. I mean, not activate, but put down a lot of the mystical genie of the lamp that doesn't even fit all the way. It is a really long monster title. It's like. Uh, it has to, like, be struck down with, like, the usual monster title name. So, like, that, uh, Legend's whole title name is, like, smaller than everything else. Of course, he ended up having another Rick, okay? And Alligator Sword, you know what? I'm just gonna use this, Because, uh, uh, I was gonna say a bad word there uh, for Alligator Sword, but, uh, it's, uh, it, we don't, we don't need to over-exaggerate ourselves for Ad Alligator Sword now. Um, we do have a Dark Hole, I'm gonna keep that because, I mean, we can just destroy Alligator Sword with your 3D Iron Knight here. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, do that. You know, it bleeds into the deck. Yep, 300 right there. Uh, so we are winning currently against Joey. Um, he could always pull something like Time Wizard uh, out of nowhere, though. And, uh, oh, yep, Dark Hole. There we go. And another Alligator Sword. I think that's three different Alligator Swords that we had to go up against. Um, I mean... I suppose it, it, there are worse monsters to run free of in your deck, but that's still not a great monster. Um, I'm gonna leave this giant soldier of stone. This way, Joey's just gonna hurt himself next turn anyway. And Monster Reborn, Gear Free Iron. Yeah, he took my Gear Free the Iron Knight. He didn't even pull that yet. Uh, all right, and get attacked by that. Uh, yeah, he, I, oh, that dude just took a bet that was not gonna be good. And oh, Swords of Revealing Light. Dang, that uh, that does hurt us. Um, uh, let's see. You don't have too much. Yep, no more Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Can I activate this? Alright, I got a palm, but that's not two palmerizations. It's not really gonna help us at the moment. But I am gonna keep it, because I do have a red eyes black dragon. And you know, I'll end my turn, I do have a dark hole, but these guys aren't stronger than me yet. So oh grateful charity. Nice. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I did get that from Joey's deck, so... Oh, Jibzo! Um, no... Uh, trap cards yet, but... You know what, I'm gonna put this guy out so we don't have to worry about that. And... Now we have a good attacking monster, too. I'll get rid of the gear for the Iron Knight, he used Monster Reborn to take get, uh, to get back. I am a little worried about that face down monster, because I'm worried it's like a man-eater bug or something. Not that I think that Joey even runs that. Uh, but, uh, I am worried about what it could be, and, granted, I probably should have used Darkhold, but I wouldn't have been able to, uh, do that anyway. Um, no, I don't want to get rid of my Jinzo, so I am going to activate Thunder Dragon's effect here, so I can add two Thunder Dragons to my hand again, and because I have Pulverization, I'm going to activate that, and Special Summon Squid Head and Thunder Dragon again, and let's go ahead and do that, uh, that's all set. Bring out uh, Squid Head's Flutter Dragon here. Hell yeah. Let's go uh, to battle phase and. Alright. We gotta face our fears every now and again. Let's see what's under here. It's a Pamper Warrior. Okay. Uh, Pamper Warrior is not that bad. He pretty much is a uh, good attacking monster, but he can only attack monsters like um, how the Zombra the Dark did. A lot of strange monsters um, uh, early, back in the day, because uh, if you had like two uh, attack points, you were like only a four-star monster. Usually, you had to have like a downside to like level it out. But all right, let's go into another battle phase, and all right, this is two more uh, face-down monsters that can probably end up destroying us. Another gear for the Iron Knight. This one was his though. Um, let's go ahead and attack the other one here. And what is it? Uh, we got Goblin Attack Force. Oh yeah, he's just been putting down monsters because I'm currently been too strong. He has, I don't think he's been able to get like something like Red Eyes out, and even if he did, it's probably not even strong enough. Graceful Charity though, so he can always get something like... Um, oh, I was going to say like Time Wizard, but I don't think he got anything at all. And I think that's game here, because yep, he doesn't have anything else on field unless he has a quick play spell. If we go to Battle Phase here. Let's go ahead and attack with Jinzo, and boom, and I could just attack with Battle Ox and then this, but nope, I'm going to do this. Uh, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, and I beat Joey. We reclaimed our victory against Joey, uh, and technically he doesn't even know he's ever beaten us. Uh, what, me? Lose? It looks like I've got a lot of training uh, to do before I face another duel. duel. Uh, I mean, Joey's got... An alright deck, he's got pretty good cards, I mean, I've used, uh, I've used a couple of them, like, your 3D Iron Knight there and everything, so, definitely not a bad guy at all, um, I think I might, uh, give another go for another battle, let's get another fight right here, and boom, oh my god, it's Yugi Moto himself, the Yu-Gi-Oh man, Alright, uh, this guy worries me. So you're, uh, today's opponent. My name's Yugi Moto. Let's enjoy ourselves. I don't know about you, but I'm always nervous when I face a duelist for the first time. And alright, our deck is a little refined, uh, but hopefully it's enough to beat Yugi Moto right here. Let's go for... Let's go first here. Um, didn't really, uh, have too much muscle rock paper scissors today, so I'm surprised we bummed there. Let's go ahead and draw a card right here. Um, but we do have a pot of greed, so we can immediately just play that. I'm gonna put down two trap cards here, and then we'll activate pot of greed here. We draw two cards to our hand, and nope. Uh, let's go. Oh, wow, we got a lot of magic cards in our hand. Um, but, alright, we'll get in. Uh, wish she wasn't our only attacking monster, but, uh, we're doing okay. Let's end here. We got a lot of things uh, to help deal with if he has any uh, things on his field. Of course, he ends up having to get rid of and Fate of the Magic Warrior. I don't want to get hit by that, so let's go ahead and activate Trap Hole this time. This time I actually remember to use it. Ha! Alright, so let's go ahead and draw here. And, wow, we only have five Magic Cards. Um, I 
I'm gonna bluff and put down a uh, mystical space typhoon right here as a chuff card. Well, for me to help out uh, the other turn like that, so no big deal. Let's go ahead and draw. Do we have a month? No. Uh, but we do have a Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, I'm surprised we have all our. Uh, I was gonna say, literally every single. Uh, Oh wow, uh, I guess that's just a flip effect. Um, so now he has Regeke again. Um, not that I had many monsters myself, but good that we got that out of the way. Alright, I'm a little worried I've got this going up against Yugi here now. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, so now we both are kind of like that right now. However, the Magician of Black Chaos, I can literally just steal an enemy point. Uh, and he's in the same boat that he can't attack us. So, uh, so there's nothing to really entirely worry about. Uh, at least yet. Uh, uh, I'm gonna end my turn here. And kind of wait for hopefully better cards. And of course that Regeki comes out. Uh, happy that it's at least gone now. Um, got Blue Eyes White Dragon here. Uh, but still can't really do anything with that. Uh, next phase, and yep, my Swords of Revealing Light just wore out, uh, so hopefully we can get something good. Activator. Not amazing, but, no, we'll take it. I'm gonna put down an Activator, and then I'm gonna do Snatch Steal. So, I'm gonna go ahead and steal the Magician of Black Chaos, and end my turn. There we go. Okay, uh, so every turn he's going to get 1,000 life points, but uh, I mean, as long as I can attack this guy, there's nothing really too much to worry about that. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get the mystical space type boom here, and I could have activated Dark Hole in retrospect. I was just worried because if I did, I wouldn't have any monsters myself. So let's go ahead and go into battle phase. He did just put a monster in attack position for some reason. So, I'll go ahead and take back those 1,000 life points that I just gave you, and nope, nope. Let's go ahead and, act and attack the Magician of Faith too, because I don't want him to get that Rogeke back out. Uh, I don't know if he could run more than one of those than that, uh, uh, but alright, uh, let's move on from here. It's going to be another uh, draw phase for Yugi, and he is going to get 1,000 life points, and Dark Magician Girl. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna get my Axe Raider right there. Um, although, I do have Mirror Force! And I really would rather have all my assets on, on hand here. Let's go ahead and draw. And... You know what? It's just so we don't have to worry about, um... Yugi constantly getting, um, life points here. I'm gonna put, uh, take out my Blue Eyes White Dragon here. Alright, let's go into attack phase and attack Yugi directly for 3,000 points. Alright, now we kind of evened it out here. I uh, was a little worried that he was going to get too many life points with that snatch deal. Um, but, yep, uh, luckily he doesn't have too many cards himself. Um, not that it's too much of a big worry, because, I mean, I kind of only have these monsters here. But, you know, I'm going to go for as much attack as possible here. And plus, they'll probably make him play a dumb move and put down a uh, not that great of attacking monster because the AI can be a little weird. I've noticed in this game. Um, all right, uh, and next turn we might even just beat Yugi Moto himself. All right, uh, going really well with this. Uh, and Gamma the Magnet Warrior. All right, gonna get attacked by G uh, Giant Soldier of Stone. And I told you he'd do this. I told you he'd be dumb. And he did. I don't know if that's this is exactly enough to take him out, but I can bring him out with um, a Witten Dragon Guardian of the Fortress again. But, you know what, uh, how about I ch uh, change the tactics a little this time? Let's activate Change of Heart. Uh, and you know what, let's be funny about this. Uh, um, let's point this guy out, and here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I am gonna summon Blue Eyes the White Dragon! I'm gonna tribute Gamma the Magnet Warrior and Blue Eyes White Dragon to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon! And now we'll attack Yugi Moto directly! And uh, take that, Vero! Who's strong? Uh, I'm the King Games! Uh, you are no match for us there! Uh, it was getting a little scary for a one point all of it. But wow! 
You've got a, quite a deck. I didn't think I was gonna lose like this. Uh, and that's all you gotta say, Yugi. Uh, I'm sure you're not used to losing, but still. I'm happy that we beat you there. And what's this? Uh, am I getting more cards? Solo, oh, dude, so is annoying. Uh, okay, I already got. Yes, I just got the five cards. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know, though. Uh, it's extra boost again. And uh, five more cards. And got another little, little D. And alright, moving on from there. Alright, uh, that's all. I think that's it for this, though. We sure showed off a lot. Uh, I like how there's all these lo different locations, and I think um, certain people show up uh, more often in certain locations. And, oh, you can just see Yugi there as well. Um, also, Grandpa, Shizu, and these are only just a couple of the guys. I've also heard that ca uh, characters will also show up. Uh, depending on certain things you do, like, uh, Mogu Mokuba, uh, Seto Kaiba's kid, not, not kid, a little brother, uh, basically his kid, um, but, uh, him, he'll actually show up if you lost five duels, not against, like, a certain, uh, player, like, this lost five duels in a row against, like, Grandpa here, per se, but just five duels in general, Mokuba will start showing up, and there's other people, too, like, uh, Merrick, a couple of, like, uh, Cool, uh, a couple cool guys. Um, I even fuck Seto Kaiba. Fortunately, I wish I had that recorded, but uh, uh, fortunately, we weren't so lucky. It's a little sad, but that's a okay. But that's enough for Yu Gi Oh! right now. I hope I, um, a little uh, informational thing for uh, the cheat actually helped you out. There's also uh, in the description the way of uh, sending up the cheat code written out and where the cheat code is and uh, as well as other codes that I personally didn't use in this uh, game but you could definitely use if you wanted to try out because uh, uh, it, it might just be end up, uh, end up fun like this. So, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Thank you for watching.